Hello, welcome back to our channel. Hi, I'm Steph and I am in the beginning phases of starting my dog accessory small business. And today I wanted to walk you guys through what we've been working on in the past year because I'm hoping that our e-store launches in the next three months, fingers crossed. I've been working on little bits and pieces of the business like the branding, designing the actual patterns for the bags and the leashes and working with the manufacturers. So I wanna give you guys a quick update on that and then Nico, you wanna come here? Nico had a really rough night last night. We actually got, or he actually got into a car accident, but he's doing really well right now. It's really like, it's really crazy how you can't even tell that he got hit by a car. So we're monitoring him for the next few days. We did go to the ER, but they said that he seemed okay. He's walking okay, he seems pretty stable. So we'll see, but we're gonna take it pretty easy. But yeah, so in today's vlog, I wanted to give you guys an update about where we're at with the business. I wanted to catch you guys up and then also give you guys a little sneak peek as to what it's like filming um, content for a new small business. And I'm also just starting to create content for our social media channels, as you can tell with YouTube. And we also have a TikTok account that just started. Um, it's been a little confusing right now, to be honest, for me to figure out what TikTok is. For a really long time, I was like a hardcore Instagrammer person. Um, but like a lot of people, I feel like Instagram is just not it anymore. So I'm trying to get into TikTok. I definitely consume a lot of TikTok content, but I'm not really sure how to like create content for it just yet. And also, I just like I didn't like voice and apologize. It's really hard to get like a business, especially because your brand and voice all that is so boring. It's really hard to, I don't know, tackle pieces on your page. I think sometimes it's not fun over time. Like to take content, it's definitely extremely cringy right now. You do this, and um, but I'm trying to overcome the cringe and do it anyways because hopefully we all get better at this and it's all gonna be great. Let's do this. I'm sorry that you have to see the toilet here, but we're gonna worry about what we have. Ready with me to go on a dog walk while we talk? Get ready dog walk while we talk about puppy blues. Okay, so this is the most random lunch I've ever put together. It's kind of like girl dinner, but like girl lunch, you know? like I had a million things to do today and I have been doing a million things since this morning but I'm really late on our schedule because it is about one o'clock almost one o'clock 12 58 and I was supposed to have already meal prepped for the next couple of days and grocery shopped and kind of organized myself but I have done none of that um, I want to see if I can actually go grocery shopping really quickly so I'm gonna make a grocery list right now so that we can head out and grocery shop but before then, I just wanted to update you guys on, again, where we're at with Woof Knox right now. So basically about a year ago, um, we had the idea to launch Woof Knox and one of the first things that we did was to hire a brand designer to help us with the logos and the brand visual identity. And I'm having a funny face right now because I feel like I'm not sure if we should have hired this person so early on in the process because I didn't really know where I wanted this to go. So. A lot of it has evolved over time and um, I kind of ended up just doing it on my like on my own to be honest it was a good kind of starting point for her to help me um, get things going but it, so much has changed since a year ago so once we were able to come up with our logos we work with the manufacturers to uh, get some mock-ups of our bags as well as leashes and collars and then started getting some samples ready so the first sample is always well it's really up to you but we got samples that were blanks so it was the first time seeing like the quality of the products that they could manufacture and that was an experience on its own. Um, let me tell you that the manufacturing process is my least favorite part of this whole process because I hate, I hate all the back and forth. I hate the unknowns. I hate the feeling of like being scared of getting ripped off and you don't really know what's like, 
actually true or not true i think part of it also is because we are inexperienced in it and i'm really hoping that once we get some more experience that it's going to be a lot easier um but it's just something that's really scary when you go through for the first time because you don't really know how to negotiate how to make sure that you don't get ripped off at the end of the day and we did have a manufacturing issue that came up we got that resolved but still it was kind of just really annoying to deal with <laughs> basically after getting all the samples we selected the manufacturers that we wanted to work with and then started creating the real samples with the logos and with the patterns and everything i was so like anxious and excited to open the first sample of the bag like i had seen videos of them that our manufacturer has sent to us but it's always different when you can see it in real life and i was so impressed by like the material and the quality of the bag actually obviously it wasn't the final products and there was a few things that we wanted to tweak here and there but overall i was so happy and like it really got me so excited for uh, working on move Knox even more so i went back to the manufacturer and told her like what we wanted to change we were able to place the actual bulk order hey. <laughs> can you go to bed place good job you chill there okay but yeah, so once we were able to work with the manufacturer to tell them like the little changes that we wanted to get done, um, we were able to actually place the bulk order. We just made our first bulk order. Yeah, like no, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> Placing the bulk order was so anticlimactic for us and we were also really scared. I feel like I was expecting to be super excited and like super amped up to like finally place our orders. I think, I think it's gonna be good. Um, fingers crossed, I'll keep you guys updated. Our bags are on the way here right now. The manufacturing is done and they're shipping it to Canada as we speak. And then the leashes and the collars are still being manufactured right now. So they're gonna ship a little after. That is that, um, I'm gonna go grocery shopping and then we have a lot of work to do in the afternoon. Nico! How am I gonna do this? So it turns out I didn't have time to go grocery shopping because I just filmed a TikTok and I feel like it's gonna get 10 views and two likes. But you know what, whatever. We're gonna keep creating content and hope that it all comes together in a couple of months or years. I don't know. Um, I'm actually gonna get ready to go to the facial right now and I'm really, really excited. I don't really know what to expect and I'll let you guys know how it feels. of editing this vlog right now that you're watching and I just realized how dysfunctional and disorganized and messy this vlog is. Um, I meant to film everything in that one day but we are now a week later and um, I was trying to film all of my TikToks on the same day. It was going to be like my filming day but it was so hard for me to create more than like one or two videos a day to be honest. I know a lot of people suggest doing like batch content creation but it's really hard for me. I'm more the kind of person who just likes to create in the moment or in the process or whatever feels right for me in the moment so i think i'm gonna stick to that like maybe once a day um it should be okay for me um but doing like 50 20 pieces of content in a day is like mind-blowing to me maybe in the future when i have things a little bit more figured out but right now i think just going with the flow going with like how the energy feels on that day as like cheesy as that sounds is a better strategy for me I think if you take anything from this one vlog, I hope that you forgive yourself for being messy in the processes, embrace the journey, and give yourself some time to figure out whatever it is that you're working on because hopefully, figure it across, we all figure this out together. And um, I will see you in the next one.